Unity versus Surya. Let's take a look at what Unity's bringing to the table. Unity's bringing Gearing, Ragnar, Shima, Venezia, Gudin, Des Moines, Petro, Montana, and Montana. We got the ledge mods on the Venezia and the Petro. Uh, let's take a look at what Surrey has decided to bring Surya. We got Gearing. We've got Z42. We got Gearing, Minotaur, Des Moines, Napoli, a San Martin, a Montana, and a Yamato. Now, a couple things. First off, is this, this is a Manitar, not a Mimotar. Um, couple interesting things here. San Martin, the first time I've seen one of these, interesting choice. Z42 I really like uh, for this map because you can sit it here to try to defend BC from an early push. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, no guarantee, obviously, that it does the trick, but we'll see how it goes. So let's watch and see how they deploy out here. Because this is going to be definitely interesting to see how they do. And so I'm just, I'm just watching to see how they're going to do this because this setup is going to be, um, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. So I, I'm looking forward. I really like this Z42 push actually. You're going to get the Z42 in there. Now, he does have this narrow gap to protect. And the Petra is going to have the radar range. But this Z42, one, if something tries to run there, he's set up. Two, he can just sit there. Like, we'll see if the radar goes. But it's definitely going to be interesting to see how he does here. Heavy push. A slightly heavier push towards D for the side of Unity, but they're using the Gudenlu. And the advantage for the Gudenlu here, chat, if you're wondering why they bring it, is one, you've got the Hydro, you can sit there, but two, the airstrikes. You've got the airstrikes, because the airstrikes mean that if you had, if uh, Surya had put a cruiser here or something slow, boom. If the Surya had put something there, boom or something slow there, boom. Gudin drops airstrikes and just starts burning it down. Now, watch, the Z42 will be spotted here in a second. Meanwhile, A and D both being taken by Unity. Kimior goes up. The Des Moines will see these torps, but will he be able to dodge? Uh, are these F8s? These are F8s, uh-oh, uh-oh. If he takes these... Oh, they run out of range. I was going to say, if he takes those, those are going to do some work. The Z42 is spotted. Both caps taken successfully by the side of Unity. So they get the early cap advantage, and their Z42 of Defreb for Surrey is just getting absolutely, absolutely roasted right now. Now, Gudin does take a chunk there, and you can see, here comes the drops. They didn't get the drop because the Z42 retreated out, so that's the downside of the Gudin, is he can get smacked, but they want to use those drops to try to get him. And the Minotaur, using the smoke provided here by the gearing, and now the gearing, as long as he keeps that uh, Des Moines spotted, Minotaur's just going to put shots in. We got a heavy-duty salvo coming over the edge. Oh, he takes one Citadel, almost takes a second. Des Moines down to 24,000. He's backing up. Minotaur now switches over to the Montana. Watch for these shots, though. They really want this Des Moines. Des Moines at 25,000. And still spotted. But yeah, they want him. 
Minotaur resumes fire on him. They know that's the Prion. Uh-oh. The problem... No, he is going to get the dodge line. He pops the Hydro late. He does get the dodge line. The gearing is spotted, so the gearing has to run now because of the Des Moines radar. But, man, that Des Moines is feeling the tenseness. Down to 20,000, down to 18,000. How long till his heal? He's got 60 seconds to his heal. Here come the shots over the island, and he gets deleted from downtown by the Yamato. Yamato says, thank you very much. I'll take my 25 kilometer kill shot, and Surya strikes first. Points lead has now been neutered. A is being taken, and the Ragnar in danger here. This is where the San Martin really is going to do some work. San Martin and Des Moines here. That's a dead Ragnar. Unity just lost Johnson boss, and there was nothing they could do about it. And the other scary thing, San Martin still has radar. I'm going to say, there's the Shimakaze spotted. Shimakaze spotted. Here comes the AP smacks onto him. He's going to dodge the first set. But he's not going to be able to take that cap. Now, the advantage is because of the Martan's AP that Shima can avoid taking heavy duty damage from him. The downside is that there's also a DM there, as well as the Z42 from the middle. And the Yamato. Yamato putting some really nice looking shots out there only gets about a hit. Shimakaze of Unity Kekjan goes down, and there's the B, or goes dark, and there's the B cap taken, and now Surya with a furious charge taking absolute control of this game. They're up 50,000, they're up two ships, and they're about to be up three caps to none. I actually think that he should have been firing AP there on the Des Moines, because yet now it would have stopped, but your first two salvos, if they're uh, AP, you might catch that Petro broadside. And remember, Petro has the raised freeboard now, so it's not impossible to Citadel. So we're just going to keep an eye on stuff like that. Petro is in spot. The Venezia and the Gudin are. Gudin's gonna drop the bombs on the Z42. Not a bad bomb drop. Is it gonna hit? It's just gonna miss, though. They do force the Z42 back, but three caps and a 200 plus point lead. Unity's gotta respond in quick, and now here comes the Des Moines radar. Des Moines radar goes in. They spot the Shima. Shima down to 12,000. He has the DCP, he hasn't used yet. Down under 12,000 though, and he's running out of space. Gearing is very happy with this, because you can see Gearing knocked down to 9,000. So they get the Shima out and down to 8,600. They force him away from the cap. He takes actually a little bit more damage there. And now the Yamato's going to start to work the Gudin, And the Gudin takes 13k on that shot from the Yamato. Kraken the Titan absolutely wants it. Z42 knows the Shima might be coming south, so he's got to watch towards it, but he doesn't have a position. And Gudin looking for the shots here on the Minotaur as the Minotaur tries to cut across. Minotaur is down to 15,000, 12,000. He's got 40 seconds till the heal. He's trying to get dark. He does. And now the Montana starts to get farmed, slowly but surely. Des Moines of Bambi comes out of smoke and oh, the gearing dies, ladies and gentlemen. Flash McQueen goes up, pushes forward, gets the kill. And I mean, this is really challenging spot for you to come back from. They're gonna get B cap here, which will at least slow the points bleed and also buy them time because they're only three ships away from going uh getting pointed out three to four ships away from getting pointed out right now but you're not in a strong spot i mean you've got the minnow hurting but you don't have him dead the venetsi is down to 18k on your side and he's got to run away your montana's already moved to mid the gudin gets hit down to 17.3 because the amato is just going to keep smacking him every time he comes around like this is a really tenuous position for unity unity is very close to getting just 
rolled out of the game. If they get the Yamato kill here with the uh, Torps, which is looking unlikely, that might help. But they have shots in. They do see the Des Moines. If good salvo here on the Des Moines would help. They only get a thousand though. And those Guden Lu airstrikes just keep doing work. DCP forced on the Yamato. The Yamato isn't going to take the Torps because he backed up. But that's a DCP gone. He takes a K from the Petro. Now the Petro is going to fight him. Petro takes 5k back, but remember, Petro fires a lot quicker. Venezia of Zaromet also just about to go down. He's spotted. They have no way to get him dark. And there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. The Montana will finish him. And now the blind fire is going to miss the Minotaur. And Unity is just looking anywhere for a chance to respond. But they're getting, you can see the vice grip. It's almost a U now. The Shimikaze, the Goon's got to watch for shots coming in. The Montana's trying to prevent the full flank. And for the side over here, we're seeing Surya start to back up because that's all they need to do. They know that they might lose the Yamato here. So they're being careful there. I mean, the fire there. The oh, it's not a fire. Never mind. I thought it was, but it was not. I mean, you can see that Yamato taking damage. He's got a heal coming, but it's just Unity is getting wrapped in this vice. And the Montana will pop shots on the Guden. He means to kill the Guden right here. He doesn't. Guden down to 9,600. Yamato at in danger going down. Shimakaze spotted, ladies and gentlemen. There goes the Shima. They'll drop the uh, F3s. There is no spotting, so if the gearing's not very careful here, he might eat one and just get absolutely murdered. He does eat one and get absolutely murdered. Shima buys themselves a little bit of time. The Napoli takes a hit as well. So, Kekshin gets out of there, but they lose the Montana. The Yamato gets him, ladies and gentlemen, and that ends any chance. It's a nice kill from Kek to try to bring it back, and a nice hit on the Napoli, but it's just not going to be enough. There goes the Montana, ladies and gentlemen. The Yamato of Kraken the Titan is healing up. Here goes the Guden Lu, and that leaves it as just two ships left, ladies and gentlemen, for the side of Unity. And Surya has absolutely looked dominant this game. Shots in on the Petro. You can see the Ricochets. I love the new Ricochet. I love the new Ricochet marker. It looks so good. And you can just see him. He's going forward here. And here is the coup de gras. The Torps, ladies and gentlemen, right there. That will do it. And your winner taking this game, their first game of the series, is Beside Assyria.